my favorite person in the whole wide world. Sit on, give yourselves a hand, give yourselves a hand. I help uh, individuals like yourself um, improve the quality of their life. Think about your life. Begin to think about your life and how it has come to be. I have this question for you. Who in here wants to be successful? How can I close that gap of what I actually have versus what I want to have because it seems like there's a big wall between me and what I want. And every time I try it, every time I try to do it, it pushes me back. So, madam, give me a high five. Come on, you can do it. Come on, you can do it. Come on, you, come on, you. Come on, come on. Okay, come on, bro. You, I know, come on, come on. Ah, there it is, give me some. All right, cool. That's how many of you look when you're trying to communicate. Wow. If you show me the success you want to acquire, I will show you the communication it will require. Because the quality of your life is a direct connection to the quality of your communication. Wow. My name is Iris Allison. I'm a branding expert, and I help entrepreneurs and business professionals, just like many of you in this room, create even more success with their personal brand. So this, they come to me because they don't have their own unique selling proposition. Or they may already have it, so in that sense, we just need to tweak it and make sure that it is aligned with their branding. And you are the king and the queen of your castle because your website is yours. Nowadays, videos are hot. It gets you ranking faster than ever. So utilize what you have to elevate your brand. <laughs> I'm just passionate about entrepreneurs. Here's one, how do you know how to duplicate your success? Vision is what you see. Right? I also say connect vision is what's in your head. Mission to me is what's in your heart. They connect and work together. Mission is why you're doing what you're doing. Why do you want to see those 10 states? Why do you want to have 500 employees? I know where you're going. Absolutely. One of the things that I look for when I'm seeking opportunities to see into people is those who are serious about their business. You have to invest in yourself. And so I'm always looking for opportunities to share my experiences, the good, the bad, and not so pretty. I won't call it ugly, I'm cute. <laughs> you know when a guy to tell you to do something you have no experience yet? I told you I was a little nerd account, and I was a nerd lawyer. It's a nerd times nerd equals nerd nerd. And I remember it saying to the Lord that I am grateful because he had blessed me indeed. But I knew I was supposed to be doing something else. My hands are full. Would you give me anything else to carry with both of my hands full right this moment? So why do you keep asking God to give you more if your hands are full? It means that you must so that you can get more and you can catch it. I knew I was supposed to be sharing everything that I had learned with other people and he told me to write a book. I had not finished any book that I had started prior to that time, but people loved it. My signature program is the Nehemiah Branding Blueprint. And I'm a faith-based business owner, so I'm gonna stay in my lane. You have the ability to encourage. You have the ability to lift people up. You have the ability to take something that's all jacked up and turn it around. That's what I do in my consulting business. I talk to people, I sit them down, and I say, listen, nothing is impossible. You can do this. You can make a profitable living doing what you love. I had to be okay with hearing no. Can y'all do me a favor? Just say apostle no. 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 Don't bother me at all. Because <laughs> I've learned that every time you say no, 
there's somebody else that will say yes. Yes, yes. Hello. In this walk and in this business venture, whatever it is that you do, you have to write the vision. But when you write the vision, you need to make it plain enough so that you understand it. So this is a good place to, to build your morals and your ethics. Come on. It's a shameful thing to become successful at any point in your life and then you have to go back and reestablish your structure. I've heard many people say that I have a heart to serve people. If you have a heart to serve people and you have no vision, then all of your life you'll be serving people. So you can have the heart to, to be a people's person. You can have a heart to want to do this and want to do that, but having no vision and having that heart, you'll be doing just that. Starting a successful business is not just being able to give your kids something that, they, that you didn't have. A successful business is being able to give the consumer what it is that they desire. It's supply and demand. Ground zero is where you establish your value and your worth. What are you willing to give up? Yes. What are you willing to give up? What are you willing to give away? But there's no longevity in you being capable of doing anything. I need to see what you're able to do. Because anybody can work a job, but only a select few can work that job successfully. Time welcomes vision, and vision welcomes time. Time is only important as what occurs within it.